Hello friends and followers and welcome back to another video. A special video because I had the possibility to paint a train on my travel back from a super epic painting event in Switzerland. I painted my most three-dimensional piece so far and got invited to empty some of my leftovers on a train somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So here we go. For those of you who wonder why is Smo doing this, um, I just got the opportunity to paint there. This is a trash yard. That means that all trains, except the train that is driving behind me right now, all trains are uh, getting demolished the next week and they're just standing there and waiting for the excavator that destroys them. And these are all old trash trains. And the company that demolishes the trains, they accept it that we are painting there. It is not like illegal. It's something in between legal and illegal, but it's okay for them when um, graffiti artists come there and paint there. And this is um, the reason why I thought, okay, Let's try this. Let's try this if it is so magical like everyone else says to paint on a train. But as this is some sort of a secret spot, please everyone who writes comments and who knows where this is, just please don't write it in the comments. I will delete all comments that give any information about where this place is because nobody wants it that Next week, 100 writers are standing in this trash yard and fighting with each other for the next spot to paint. I mean, there are already so many people painting that um, there was no space left on any of the trains that were standing there. And I had to cover this uh, chrome bombing from Wolf. And um, the rule for all writers in this yard is if you paint over somebody else cover the artwork completely so the first person who paints there paints a window down panel and then you can paint a little bit bigger than the window down and then you paint uh, at the end you paint a whole train and every artist tries to cover the artwork of the one underneath yourself um, because otherwise this is respectless. So big up to Wolf, sorry for covering your style. Okay, and I already start doing the fill-in after seven minutes of um, making some first lines. And I decided that I wanted to go with a gray fill-in, a gray fading from light gray over middle gray to dark gray. It was not covering that well, to be honest. But as usual, I just fill, I, I tried to fill just enough so that it looks clean at the end. I use a calligraphy cap because these were the only fat caps that I had with me. I was not well prepared to do this train action. Next time I would definitely take the level 6 fat caps with me because they are good for really solid outlines as well. And I was fighting with the wind. I really felt like that the, ho the half of the spray paint that I was trying to spray paint on the train was just flying away. <laughs> and for those of you who say, uh, why didn't you fill the, the letters with the double hand technique? 
yeah, the answer is that I just had one spray can of each color. So I could have used both hands to ch shake this one can, but yeah, I was not well prepared. I know this looks dirty as hell, but I will solve that. After the fill-in, I add some bubbles um, to cover even more of the artwork underneath my piece. And to make the bubbles more sharp, I use a skinny cap to sharpen the outer shape of the bubbles. does not look that blurry anymore, just some sharp outlines do the job. borrowed me this cap. This is a black fat cap. I don't know what sort of cap this is. lying if I said that I did not enjoy the atmosphere over there a tiny little bit. It was crazy the paint on this train and having all these other trains driving behind us. The guy at the right side besides me, Okes, he was already warning me that uh, some of the train drivers, they have fun honking and the, tr the trains, they have such a loud honking noise. Ah, that was scary. tried to make the 3D as three-dimensional as possible. Of course, I added a light reflection with this some sort of shrimp color on the, on the red. But it would have been so much better if I had a darker red instead of this really sharp black as the shadow. It works some sort of, but yeah, this is a leftover piece. I tried, really, I tried to make the best out of it, but it is some sort of annoying that I did not have any preparing time for this action. I wanted to add more contrast to the letters and having a highlight always helps to make it more clean. And I was so happy that the train was not honking.
mom, this is for you. <laughs> now you can be proud about your son painting trains. <laughs> yeah, but all in all, I have to say it was it was a fun experience, but I I want to prepare myself a little bit better the next time. Or I want to prepare myself at all and think a little bit more about the color composition and everything. Yeah, now I will be waiting another half of an hour for everyone to finish. We will skip that and I want to show you the final result. And as usual, I will say a big thanks to my supporters on Patreon. It was pretty quiet. I was not uploading anything because I had too many projects at the same time. And you are the guys that were so patient. Thanks so much for your support. Um, they have seen this video already on 19th of June. I don't know when I will release this on my YouTube. And they also have seen this uh, video. <coughs> Come on, can you please stop talking? Um, and there is the full version, um, it's uh, 1 hour and 15 minutes um, uncut so that you can see the whole process. So become one of my patrons, there is a link in the video description and also at the end of this video there is a button, a red button to become a patron as well. Thank you. Yo, and my last final thoughts about this train. I mean, it was a fun experience. It was, um, I have some some great photos, a great video, a great um, moment with my homie Kia and all the other guys. But um, I think this does not come close to anything like yeah, painting a this. real illegal train or painting a subway train. Um, this here is uh, just fun. Yeah, yeah. I painted on a surface of a train, but this has nothing to do with train writing. And I can't say anything about train writing still. So um, it was just a fun experience. And um, probably I will paint another train soon because I'm invited to the Paint on Trains Festival uh, where we all, where every artist has to paint one uh, whole car. This will be interesting as well, so I had the chance to practice a little bit uh, to get, especially I will uh, make some this wind, wind thingy to my GoPro because I, ha I had some, so much trouble with the wind noises here. Um, yeah, this is the learning for me, but other than that, yeah, painting on a legal train is like painting on a legal wall. There's not such a big difference. Yo, friends and followers, I hope that you were a little bit entertained. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next project. The next train. <laughs>